Hello, my name is Jerry. Uh, I work at Birmingham City University and I'm joined here with Alex today. He's going to talk to you about some computing facilities. We Hi there, I'm a computer science student in my first year at university. I begin to my second year after the summer. Um, this is one of our Cisco networking labs here at the university. Here you can see the um, Cisco Packet Tracer software that we've got. You can prototype your networks on here. Very so um, Command line interface and everything here as well. Um, when you're finished prototyping it, you can actually build the physical thing here on our Cisco server network racks. So there's about two million pounds in software and hardware uh, across the networking lab at the University City University. Um, you see, you've got all the wires. Everything's connected up through the floor from the system. It's a local network, so... So all uh, these the, computers are like, like talking to each other, connected to these networks? Yeah, they're all, they can all talk to each other, they're all connected, and basically you can just link them together through the server racks, oh, and you can nice. practice it in real time and see where the errors are and fix it uh, in a, a group or in a team. It's amazing, <laughs> that's great. And do you say that the Birmingham City University is Cisco certified? Uh, yes, we're a Cisco partner, as well as a Microsoft partner, and that allows us to get certain certifications at discounted prices or for free. Um, what certifications are available depends on what's offering at the time. Um, some of the certifications from Cisco are really highly valued in the networking space. Um, so if you have those qualifications, it really puts you ahead of other applicants. That's so, um, some of these, yeah, what these machines are kind of, yeah, industry standards. Um, these machines are kind of going to be as they are if you were to go into like one of these careers. That's absolutely right. So we've got 200 series. Um, Networking routers here and connectors. You can see if it's all connected up. We've got all the cabling. We've got uh, the Ethernet connections and interfaces going all the way down. Um, and there's quite a lot of computers in here. Um, um, yes. That's a lot for students to kind of be able to work with, isn't it? Yes, so there's actually um, more than a dozen, maybe a couple of dozen of computer labs around Millennium Point with around 50 or 60 or maybe even more computers in each one. Alex, can you show us some now? <laughs> yeah, sure. So, um, so we've got this lab here that we've just been in, um, right next door. We've got another lab here with a bunch of computers in it and a bunch more server racks at the back there. You see some of them are locked up at the moment. Um, there's another two or three rooms on this floor that are networking, networking labs and other rooms are just computer labs that you can do rendering in or animation or programming or whatever it is that you need to do. Um, further down that way there are computer games technology labs as well so got all the software That's for that so as well. Cool. And there's more computers in here. Exactly. It just doesn't stop yeah. Alex. <laughs> so if you're doing programming or um, I don't know, Arduino work or something like that you can come into these labs you're allowed to go to any of the labs around the university. You're not just locked into your own little rooms oh, where yeah. you can do your course. You can come around here, they're free to use. If nobody's in here, just get on one, log in, and do your work. Awesome. Thank you so much, Alex, for showing us around. No Try to think, is there anything else you can show us? I think we could. Um... Steam House! Yeah, Steam House. Let's go, Steam House! <laughs> so, this is Steam House. Yes, but to a beautiful sunny day. Steam House. Shall we have a look around? Let's have a look inside. Let's go. So Alex, this is Steamhouse. Give us some quick facts. So this is a £72 million refurbishment of the old bicycle factory that used to be here. It's a brand new investment for Birmingham City University. It's uh, meant to be as an innovative and collaborative space for students as well as those in industry. I love that. So it's going to be the new home for computing and digital technology. Yes, coming January, we expect the computing and digital technology students to be fully in steam house moving forward. These, these, these lessons that are going to be taught in here, like they look, these classrooms look huge. Yes, the brand new spaces, uh, really built for the future. Yeah, future, <laughs> so, future learning. Future learning. So you know, there's large spaces here and to your left as well. There's also uh, factory spaces for around for other students. I love that. Oh, so cool. And I noticed there's like webcams on the ceiling. So these, these, these classrooms are kind of going to be built for that agile le learning space. So you could possibly even learn from the comfort of your own home. That's right. Yes. I love that. So let's head upstairs. Um, where we'll be able to see a little bit more of the house. So talk us through this floor. So this is more of a collaborative space here. So we've got a bunch of little booths here where industry will come in and they can discuss projects or talk to students. Look at these amazing students. rooms. They're like really modern. Yes, you see a lot of booths of already set connections and outlets, all these sort of things so you can do all your work with tech industry if you need to and 
your... And these people that are going to be working in this environment are going to be right next door to a VC student. Exactly, so it's going to be a bunch of professionals and there's that massive potential for networking and getting industry connections as well. As BCU is a uh, work-focused and industry-focused university, there's that real, that real push to get students into work after their degree. I love that, awesome. So in terms of computing, is there anything else you want to show us on this magical mystery tour? Have we missed anything? You know what? We haven't been to level four of Millennium Point yet. I'm going to show you that space. Oh. Let's go! Millennium Point level four! Uh, so what is the space, Alex? So this is the open project space. Um, during your first year, you may be in here when working as a collaborative team with a group of students. So the computing students, they share a common first year, though some modules are going to be different. And from those different disciplines, you make up a team, you can have networking students, you can have your computer science students or your data science students all working together to create a project for Innovation Fest. You may have heard about Innovation Fest before, but you'll also be in here for your computer systems module. And during a compu uh, computer systems module, you'll be using Arduino mod controllers and Raspberry PIs, but we've also got the Maker's Lab over here. It's where the swear the magic happens. It's where the magic happens. So you actually see some of the um, prototype projects that people were making during their first year at university. Um, this one, I believe, was one of the winners of uh, Innovation Fest, it actually. Really it was a automatic growth system for plants, I believe that was. But the plant itself is looking very well <laughs> watered, I must say, it is working still. So yeah, so you can just come in here during your computer's modules or if you ever need to work on your projects and there'll be staff in here that will let you rent out equipment so you can grab your Arduino, you grab your breadboards, your motors, your sensors. If you need to 3D print anything, that can be done here too. You can see somebody's been 3D printing some things here. Oh. Got this thing going on, I don't want to mess with it. Look at that, very nice, very fancy. So say you come to university and you haven't got a laptop. Well, oh, I need to buy a laptop, I'm doing a computing student, I'm doing a bunch of work. You can borrow a laptop from these lap safes instead. Um, I think it's the largest lap safe uh, collection in Europe. Wow, right? that's a, that's a, that's, whoa. In Europe, crazy. Uh, am I right in thinking you came through clearing last yeah, so year? Yes, I came through clearing myself actually. Um, so I'm a mature student, I'm returning to education. Um, I didn't actually get enough uh, marks to get onto the course, um, but I had done a foundation degree previously, which wasn't counted on UCAS track system, so I didn't get any points for it, but I got to speak to staff, and on that case-by-case -case basis, they get to decide, well, actually, you know, let's give you a chance and see what you can do. And um, I've really enjoyed my time at the first year of university. I'd never done programming before, which is another great thing. No. We um, learned Python in our first year, and we went straight from the ground up, all the way through to object-oriented programming, the final project. Now you're an expert. <laughs> <laughs> and we had data structures and algorithms too, yeah. in semester two, I which love is something that. you may do on your computer courses as well. If someone is watching, they are considering going through clearing, what's one piece of advice you'd give to them? Don't panic, don't worry. Um, yes, you may have not gotten into your first choice and you're looking to go through clearing, or maybe you're just directly applying through clearing because you feel like you should go to university. That's fine. You can come through, talk to the clearing team over the phone, through the hotline, and they'll guide you through the process, you know, take down all your qualifications, and refer you to faculty if you need to be referred to faculty, if, if your marks are just below what's required, that's fine. Um, it's always always a case by case basis. Yeah, and there's also foundation years. There's as well. also yes, that's right. There's also foundation years, which you know the qualifications to go to those are a little bit lower, but they give you that grounding sort of first year before you move on to the same degree that you would have done anyway for the next three years. Awesome! Thank you so much, Alex. No problem. So yeah, if you are interested in applying to BC through clearing, uh, you can phone the clearing hotline on 0121 331 6777. And yeah, cheers, Alex. Thank you very much.